So what is the cost of gun violence? 1.4 million Americans have lost their lives to gun violence over the last 40 years. This is more Americans than were killed in all the wars combined that we fought during that time period. I think it's important to note that every year, 117,000 Americans are shot by a gun. Of those, 33,000 are killed and 84,000 are injured or permanently disabled. So when you look at gun violence, the largest category of gun violence is suicide. Suicide or self-inflicted gun violence makes up about 60% of gun-related deaths. 38% are intentional gun homicides, often between people who know each other or are related. Two to 3% are accidents. So now let's go in a little bit further and talk about the dollars and cents. We've talked about the lives, but let's talk about the dollars and cents of what gun violence costs us. The American taxpayer pays about $12.8 million every day for direct cost of gun violence. So what does this include? It includes things like emergency services, medical treatments, police investigations, legal costs related to trials, long-term medical care and disability, um, and also things like enhanced security and enhanced training. So this works out to $229 billion a year. It's kind of like maybe a gun violence tax, but it's a tax on every man, woman, and child in America. We each pay $693 a year. If you look at a family of four, they pay $2,772 a year. And what do you get for this tax? You actually get your family members injured, maimed, or killed. So the next time you hear about a shooting, realize that it is costing lives and it is also costing money out of your pocket.